about this three-point game. I, I, I got to give a lot of credit to Washington because they could have mailed it in yeah. and just head back home, but they have come back to fight here in the second half. And here's a carry by Martin. Ted Valentine, the experienced official, says, not on my watch. Of course, one of the points of emphasis. The officials really paying attention to the carry as Washington coming out of that timeout. LSU playing the zone defense. Washington attacks it with the lob. Good pass by Denton to Pondexter. Rockman. Try to draw a foul. Last touch by LSU. It'll be Washington basketball. That'll take us to a timeout with 11.50 to play in this game in a three-point contest. Uh, we thought we'd have a pretty even matchup today, and that's what we've gotten to this point. Back with more in a moment. Summer's here, but also when it's cold and dreary. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. ABC, your NBA destination for a Christmas Day doubleheader. Catch Heat Cavs and Suns Lakers. Tony. Hey, Scott. Just finished up the show. Guess I'm going to head on out of here. Cool. Go home watching some television or something. All right. Enjoy. Get your game up to par maybe even under it with ESPN Golf Schools presented by American Express. One day programs offered in over 50 cities for players of all skill levels. Sign up today and receive a $400 Callaway Golf gift card. Roll with your American Express card and get an extra $50. Log on to ESPNGolfSchools.com or call 1-800-642-5528. Forty-seven, forty-four, LSU and Washington, both teams seven and four on the air. The return game of a home and home with these two teams. Don't forget that uh, tomorrow, one o'clock Eastern, it'll be Missouri at Mississippi State. That game was supposed to be right after this game, but due to the Bulldogs of Mississippi State making a uh, bowl game for the first time since 2000, that game has been switched to tomorrow, at one o'clock Eastern, and it's on Sports South, our sister network. Hope you can join us for that one. Pondex will have to get it off to Denton who will pull up from 17. Got it. His first basket. It's a big one. It's a one point LSU lead. This game was tied 4-4 in the opening moments. Washington has never led. LSU fans may be thinking about the Villanova game. LSU had a big lead but lost it and ended up losing that game to Villanova. And now the Huskies have led for the first time on an Appleby three-pointer. It's a two-point Husky lead. In transition, Washington able to shake Ryan Appleby loose. Appleby knocking down the three-point shot. Here's Temple, bounce pass inside. It goes to Randolph. He spins. Tough shot goes down. Beautiful job by Anthony Randolph. Under a lot of defensive pressure from Pondexter, Randolph still able to get it home with the left hand, his strong hand. Ninth game in 12. Then Randolph has posted double figures. He now has 10. Brockman. Appleby gets it to the corner. Morris misfires, but the offensive putback is up and good by Quincy Pondexter, the sophomore out of Fresno. LSU going to the double team, trying to get the ball out of John Brockman's hands. And Brockman able to move it. And Washington attacked the defense and ended up with an offensive rebound and putback. Temple picks up his dribble, gets it to Randolph. Here's Spencer to the basket. His finger roll left well short. There's a shot clock down. Bo Spencer had to make something happen. 
Appleby for three off the back of the iron. Way too strong. Well, he's struggling with his shot. He does have one three today, but that's going back the other way. And Terry Martin is explosive. And Terry Martin didn't settle for the long jumper that time. He used his strength and his size to get inside and get two. Tied at 51. Timeout taken by Lorenzo Romar. Let's go back to that basket that gave Washington their first lead. Stepping out into the passing lanes, the Huskies get in the transition, and Appleby able to get loose. Tim Morris with the steal and pass over to Appleby, who has had a tough time from three-point range, I think mostly because he's been forced off that three-point line. His three-point attempts have been from 23, yeah. 25 feet this afternoon. And just pushed him out just to where he's not comfortable, but you get him around that that three point line, he's dangerous. He had seven three pointers against Portland State, which tied his school record. He missed uh, the first uh, seven games with a fractured thumb and then came back and promptly hit six threes against Pittsburgh. And on the season, he's 53% from behind the arc, 50% overall. And it's really eight games. He missed almost all of, of their most recent game against Cal State Northridge, had the back spasms, and he played but didn't score, only had one rebound. That pulled his, pulled his average down a point and a half or so. It's tough when you got to take a zero. You can score and get a, get a quiz. You take a zero on that thing. It's hard to pull that back up. <laughs> How would you know? I'm, I've heard about that. I'm stuff. the one who could talk about that. <laughs> Dropping inside off the low block and Washington by two. He's got 14 now. Brockman's starting to heat up here, averaging just shy of 19 points a game. Dave Neal and Barry Booker from the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. Some SEC hoops for you this holiday season. Garrett Green with the offensive rebound, and LSU will have another crack at it. Here's Thornton to the basket. Oh, what a nifty move in the lane. LSU very fortunate to get two on that trip. Terry Martin took a wild, long jump. Travel, but they'll instead get a foul on Terry Martin. That'll be his third. SEC officiating crew, but a good crew. They're doing a nice job keeping control of this game, and uh, you know, definitely not a not a homer situation. These guys are are excellent officials, doing a good job. And Washington will give it right back. Nine Husky turnovers, 11 turnovers for LSU. Both teams have done a, a pretty decent job on holding on to the basketball. Chris Johnson uh, about to check back into the game. Brockman has played the entire second half. 